Hi, hello, my name is Maria and I'm a product designer with 12 years experience and I'm in love with a microcopy. I have created this guide to help you and your team make the microcopy of your product clear, consistent and meeting international guidelines. And today I'm going to show you the main principles that you should follow when you create a copy for the buttons. So, the first rule, be uh, encourage action. Uh, you should use strong verb that encourages action inside of the buttons. So, instead of QR code, it's better to say pay with QR code. Instead of top templates, it's better to say explore templates. Users should actually understand what will happen when they click this button. And this strong verb actually encourage them to click this button. Uh, of course, uh, if you do like uh, common actions like uh, done, close, cancel, or okay, we shouldn't use this strong verb. Uh, the second rule, be short. Instead of using too many words inside of the button, it's better to keep it short. Uh, it will also increase the matrix. Uh, it will also make more customers click this button. Uh, so instead of yes, download, update now, or something like uh, I'm ready to click this button, whatever it is, it's better to say just download, update. Be actionable. Use strong verbs. Uh, the third rule, avoid articles. Uh, very, very important rules, and uh, you should definitely follow it. Do not use articles inside of the buttons. Uh, instead of saying delete an image or get the book, say delete image, get book. Be short and actionable. This uh, will increase readability and encourage immediate action. So please avoid articles in your buttons. Uh, another rule, don't repeat yourself. For example, when you create a new element, if you use verb like add or create, don't add new. So try to avoid um, too many words, uh, be short. Uh, so it's better to say plus new, uh, new image because plus is going to play this uh, role of the verb like add instead of plus add new account. It's too many, uh, too many words. Uh, and visually, it's going to be nicer as well if you use this element. Header and button read as a sentence. Uh, yeah, you should keep your dialogues uh, as a conversation between you, uh, your product, and customers. So if you ask a question, let the copy in the button B answer. So what skin type do I have? Find out instead of start what I'm studying. Uh, so you should better to keep it as conversation. The same uh, example here. Um, we have accepted your application. Okay, thanks. Instead of we have accepted your application, done. So um, this sounds very technical. Make sure that your heading and your button, they are connected as a dialogue, question and answer. Some more rules, uh, some more use cases. Uh, it's also very nice to promote your business in the buttons. Uh, make them do more than they actually do. So uh, instead of just uh, generic words like search, try it, contact, uh, explain what your product does, like find jobs, create resume, get consultation. So it's also a great place to promote your product and it will, it also sounds more actionable and more powerful. Uh, the same about sign up, uh, you can use uh, you can explain what your product is going to do. Start learning Spanish, create logo, find job, and so on. Um, very nice example as well when I'm counseling. 
uh, other buttons that need special attention are the cancel action buttons. These buttons should be really clear. So here you can see a uh, nice example and confusing example. Uh, so here we ask custom, uh, customer, cancel this order. And we have two buttons, cancel and confirm. So what will, what button is actually going to cancel this order, cancel or confirm? So it's confusing. Uh, it's better to use very clear copy, cancel this order, cancel order, or not now, skip later, whatever it is. Uh, and also it's important to make your buttons uh, also connect with the visual design to help your customers um, make a right action. Then use task specific language. Um, write a review. Uh, it's better to say publish so I will understand exactly what will happen when I click this button. My review is going to be published rather than submit. Submit it sounds too technical and I'm not really understand what will happen when I click it. The same example here. And also let's check some uh, examples from the uh, market. Uh, Apollo, they uh, have this copy, Unlock Apollo Ultra. Very nice. So uh, it's actionable, short, and I understand what I will get when I click this button. Uh, as well, nice, actionable, short, and clear buttons uh, in the bold. Contact driver, get help with the right. Uh, as well, they have this nice example when I submit my uh, selfie. The button sounds like my selfie is clear. So I truly understand what I'm submitting. Instead of just saying, OK, confirm, uh, I understand what I'm confirming when I clicking this button. I'm confirming that I'm happy with this picture. Uh, as well, nice example here, uh, because button is also a great place to push customers to actually confirm this action. Uh, and proposing free uh, trial subscription. It's a great place to propose it actually, because here I can see try gold for free today or create free account. Uh, I like this option a little bit more because I think today is like a little bit extra wording. Uh, this one is perfect on my taste, create free account. Uh, it's actionable, it's powerful, and it's promoting um, our good features. Thank you very much. Uh, if you want to see more examples and if you want to explore my guide, please follow the link. I will attach uh, just here. And thank you very much. Have a nice day.